Welcome to Spectral Edition. I'm Tim Prossel. I have an article here that sounds a little bit like a folktale, but it was an article published in the Banner Democrat, a newspaper from Louisiana, and it was published on April 17, 1897. The title is Molly Magruder's Ghost. The ghost of Molly Magruder, who was killed near 7th and Tracy Streets about a year ago by William McCoy, still appears to frighten those who have to pass along that way in the early morning hours, writes a Kansas City correspondent. As stated in these dispatches two weeks ago, the woman first appeared to the keeper of a saloon on the corner of Independence and Lydia Avenues and appeared to be asking for a bucket of beer. She then appeared to several passers-by and to a policeman, who, since that time, has never had occasion to get near the spot where the murder was committed. The publication in a morning paper here of the fact that such an apparition had been seen caused a number of people to go in that neighborhood on such nights as they happened to be out late in the hope of being able to see the spirit. The result is that there are now not less than seven people who declare that they saw the ghost of the murdered woman, and while she invariably has the appearance of wanting to reveal something, no one has yet had nerve enough to stay to hear her story. The latest tale is from a man who had heard nothing about the ghost and who had occasion to cut across Lydia Avenue about two o'clock one morning recently. The gentleman was hurrying through the dark street when his attention was attracted by a woman who was standing perfectly erect near a telegraph pole about ten feet from a street lamp. She stood so still and looked at him so intently that he thought she might be a man who was dressed as a woman for the purpose of robbery, and, drawing his revolver, he approached her with the intention of asking what she was doing there at that time of night. She was in full view, but as the man got near to the telegraph pole, the woman seemed to dissolve in thin air and left no trace behind her. The gentleman thought it strange, and it was only when he related his story next morning that he found that he had approached Molly McRuder's ghost. I'm Tim Prossel, and I've collected over 300 of these ghost reports, all of them printed in actual U.S. newspapers between 1865, the end of the American Civil War, and 1917, when the U.S. entered World War I. I've chosen the scariest, the most intriguing, and a few of the funniest for a book titled Spectral Edition, Ghost Reports from U.S. Newspapers 1865 to 1917. It's at Amazon in paperback and Kindle, and you can find it at other online bookstores, too. For more information, visit BromBonesBooks.com.